So, I have done tattoo tours in the past. I actually have two different videos explaining the different meanings behind the tattoos I have. Recently, I actually got two new tattoos. And so I figured it would only be appropriate to come on here and explain them. Well, first of all, show them to you guys, but also explain to you why I got them and what they mean to me. The first one I got is actually this small little shooting star. I got it on the side of my hand. I love this shooting star so much. It finally is healed all the way. Honestly, if you just glanced at my hand, you might actually not notice it or just think that. I had drawn it on there. I think it's so cute. The There's such a big story behind this tattoo though. The setting of the story. I am living in Hungary. It's about 2018. So this was four years ago. Where I lived on the property is was actually a castle. I was sitting on top of this castle with a friend. Honestly, it was just like a period of my life where I was just really struggling with understanding God's plan understanding why he allowed me to go through different things I've been through um and really struggling with the concept like is God real is God real like I was just not even sure if he was real anymore and that is so sad to admit and it's so disheartening especially just for me, because I had always grown up knowing he was real, and so the fact that I was struggling with, like, is God real, just, like, proved even to myself, like, I don't even know if I can trust myself anymore. I don't even know if I can trust, like, stuff that I've always believed, because if I can't believe this, then, like, what can I believe? I was sitting on the roof of this castle in the middle of the night during winter, so it was really cold outside with a really good friend and we weren't talking we were just sitting there and I was having this conversation in my head with God of like I'm just really mad at you I'm really angry I don't understand and I don't even know if you're real anymore and then I just started praying like God if you're real you really need to prove it to me because at this point like I don't believe it like I didn't believe it and I really wanted to believe it and there are so many things in my life in the past that like I knew he was real but I was still struggling with the concept like is he real like it was just that ambivalent like I know it's true but is it true like thing that people go through that I was going through now so I was praying to God like you need to prove it if you're real you need to prove it like prove it to me and as I was staring at the sky um I was looking at all the stars you could see them so clearly looking at all the stars and I was like okay god if you're real like send me a shooting star like right now like send me a shooting star and so I sat there in anticipation and I was staring at the sky like really hoping he was gonna send one really anticipating expecting and also like curious like is he gonna disappoint me again I was sitting there waiting I really don't know how long I waited for um it could have been five minutes it could have been 20 probably not more than 20 it was probably closer to five minutes <laughs> but I could feel myself giving up I could feel the disappointment setting in and almost like and I knew an attitude of like I knew you weren't gonna do this for me and like I knew you weren't real um and I knew he was real so it more of would have been I knew you weren't gonna do this for me this just proves to me you don't care that you don't love me that I'm unimportant to you that you have better things to do than answer my one selfish need of like send me a shooting star and in this moment where I was really struggling and I was waiting there came a moment where I was giving up and then the exact moment where I started to say to him like I knew it I saw a shooting star from the corner of my eye and I I gasped and I just started crying and the friend I was sitting with, I was like, did you see that? Did you see that? She said, no, I saw you see it, though. And turns out she wasn't looking at the sky. Because I wasn't, I hadn't even told her what I was looking for. I hadn't even voiced it out loud. She was staring at me, looking at the sky. It's just crazy to me that in the moment, the very moment where I felt my heart giving up, 
God sent me what I was praying for, what I wasn't sure he was listening to. And so the shooting star to me is a reminder like he's listening and like he is faithful even when I'm faithless and he it's okay for me to have unbelief because he can hold the belief for both of us and so it really allows me to be who I am dust and honestly stars are just dust um, but it really allows me to be who I am. It allows me to be the dust that I am. And he, there's a verse in Psalms. I love it so much. I can't tell you where, which one it is. Um, maybe I'll try to find it. But it talks about how, like, God remembers that we are dust. And so the very fact he remembers I'm dust, like, takes the pressure off of me being perfect. And it also gives me permission to come to him with my needs and come to him again and again, over and over, with the same things, especially things that require a lot of belief, and a lot of faith, and a lot of trust, which are three things that I really struggle with, especially with God. And it reminds me that, like, it's okay for me to come to him over and over again with those things, and he doesn't get annoyed by me coming to him again and again, because he remembers that I'm dust, and he remembers that I, I'm incapable of fully believing in him because I'm not yet perfect. So it's just a relief and this little tattoo I love so much. It's, it's a hand tattoo and so it's going to come off eventually. But when it does, I will either get it redone in the same place or I'll get it somewhere new. But the second tattoo I got is actually on my upper arm. It's right here. So when I put my arm down, you can half see it, which I think is so lovely. I got a bouquet of flowers. Honestly, this one has a prophetic meaning to it. The story of it is kind of just beginning. So I actually got it out of a hope. Something someone has prophesied over me. Um, actually, two different people have without knowing and also something that I feel like God has really been speaking into. Um, and it's just a season of life where I'm kind of like in a bloom. Really growing, really learning, maturing, getting healthier in a lot of different ways, in a lot of different areas. Really, this tattoo really speaks to the what's going to be. You know, God has such amazing plans for your life and for my life. And... People being able to speak into those plans and really speak into the character of like, this is who God is turning you into. This is what he is doing even when you can't see. It's just so hope-filled that like this tattoo is just so hope-filled to me. And it reminds me of like, I might not understand what he's doing right now, but he knows what he's doing. And I can trust in his knowing, even if I don't understand. So this tattoo, it really speaks into the growth of what I'm going through. Um, I'm in a really intense counseling program and it is growing me and shaping me in so many amazing ways but at the same time it is just really hard and it's really intense and I have really great days where I'm loving what I'm doing and enjoying it and then I have other days where I'm still loving it I'm just not enjoying it so much and I'm just having a difficult time. So it's a reminder of what God's doing. So there is this phrase, um, bloom where you're planted. I think this phrase can get overused, especially in like a cliche type of way. However, if you step back and really take in each word and fully understand, fully try to comprehend like what does it mean to be bloom where you're planted? For each person, it will probably look a little bit different because we're all planted in different areas. But generally, what I think it can mean for a majority of us is to really live in the moment that you are in, that you're living in. To not strive or look forward to what is going to be, even if it's good things. Like those are good things and you should be excited for those. But don't live in the future. Don't live in, in the anticipation of those things occurring. Like really focus on living in the moment 
and blooming where you're planted right now instead of wishing you were somewhere else. It's something I still struggle with, which is another reason I got this tattoo. Just living where I am and living unapologetically where I am and deciding to be myself where I am, like really living in the moment and deciding to bloom there, like, because it really is your choice on your character and who you are and who you decide to be. Like, that is your choice. And sure, in the past, there may have been people who spoke things over you, but it's your choice on whether or not you believe them and live those spoken things out. I think this can also speak into some really hard seasons. When you're just in a hard season and that's where you're planted at the moment, whatever you're going through. Blooming where you're planted in the difficult seasons I think are the hardest and I think it's really easy to look at yourself during those times and not remember that you're actually still planted somewhere and that you still have a role where you are planted and you can still bloom in that role even if the season you're in is difficult. And again it's really hard to bloom during those times and honestly during those times you probably need some extra support whether that is people or meeting your needs in other ways. I know for a long time I asked y'all like why me? Why did you choose me to go through what I went through? I don't want to bloom where I'm planted. You planted me with a really rough past and I don't want to bloom there and me and my stubborn, strong-willed little attitude for a long time refused and I was like you've given me the story but I'm not going to use it because I didn't ask you for it and God's really worked on my heart and really softened me and really spoken into me and spoken truth into me. He did give me a hard story and it wasn't something that pleased him but in my story, how I use my story can please him. So the hard stuff that I went through does not please him. How I use the hard stuff I went through is what pleases him. And it was when I realized the differentiation between those two things is when I really started to accept and really come to terms with, I actually have a huge opportunity here. I have a huge opportunity to bloom in this season and this um trauma that I've been planted in and this past that I've been planted in um because while I didn't choose it I get to choose if I bloom in it and I get to choose whether or not I let others see the beauty of what comes out of those difficult things and so the statue also reminds me like I have a job to do it is up to me to decide how I come out of my past even though I didn't get to decide my past and so, again, the differentiation between those two things is what really continues to help me moving forward, even though what I went through was and is really hard. I know that those were really long stories behind the tattoos, but I really thought that they were necessary to share um, for myself, honestly, because I love this doc type of documentation. Um, but also, just to still hope in other people and let them know that they're not alone and that they can rewrite their story too. Now I'm up to 11 tattoos. If you're interested in my other videos that I did, the other tattoo tours, then I'll link them down below. And until then, be gentle, be kind, and be you.